create more complex conceptual masses using additive and subtractive geometry. So here, let's set a work plane on the side of this building. So click on set, and then click on the side of this building where only that face is selected. Let's show, by clicking this button, which work plane we've selected. So I've selected the side of my building. I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, and now I'm able to draw a rectangle on the side of this building. So if I go and I orbit by holding down shift, I orbit around, I can see the face of where I'm drawing a little bit better. I'm going to go and I'm going to click, click and create a square. On there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form by creating a solid form. Now here what I can do is orbit around and I'm going to click on this red arrow that's going to drag that form along the x-axis, making it longer. What I can do is click on there and let's make it 160 feet. Click off of the shape and now we have this shape coming off of our building. If I want to make it part of the building and make this all one type of geometry, I can go up to geometry here and click on join. I click on join can select this box and this box and now that is all one box. When I hover over it, both will be selected. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Let's set a new work plane. So click on set and click on the face of this box. Now that box should be highlighted. What I'm going to do is cut out a path. I'm going to cut out this path a little extra wide to accommodate the curve here of my walkway. So I'm going to click on square click here, I'm going to drag it up, and click out over here. Now that I have my square and it's highlighted, I can click create form, but I'm going to create a different type of form. It's going to be a void form. My void form, I just want to make sure that it's long enough where it's going to pass all the way through the building. Here I can see the depth. What I'm going to do I send that back 40 feet just to make sure that it's long enough. Okay, if it's not, we can even extend that a little bit further. Let's try 50 feet. There it looks like it's going all the way through. If I like that, I just hit enter. And now I see that my path has been cut through. All the way through my building by creating a void. The orange box we see here, we can delete. By zooming in and clicking once on the screen, on the right side of it and going up to the top left I can create a all-inclusive selection box. The dashed lines here on this selection box will select everything that it touches. So if it touches any part of this cube it's going to select the entire cube. If I click and drag the other way it's going to create a solid line and this will only select things that it has completely encompassed or, or surrounded. Whereas right now if I had a circle on screen and a triangle it would select the entire triangle but it would not select the circle. So I'm going to go from the bottom right to the top left to give myself that dash box. I'm going to click on that cube and I'm going to click delete. So I'm going to delete out that cube. So now I just have the, the cut walkway going through there. And that's what I want. So I've used additive geometry to add on this box, and I've used subtractive geometry to cut out this box. You can do the same thing with circles and squares, triangles, all different kinds of shapes. So let me show you one more shape here, a kind of more of a special shape, which is the circle, because when I draw a circle, and let's change the plane, let's set that to the top. If I draw a circle, it's going to ask me when I go to create the form, it's going to ask me two different options. And I want you to see those options. So click on circle. We got our plane. Let's click right here and go to the edge. Let's move this circle a little more centered.
and if we click on the circle and select it we go to create form let's create a solid form it's going to give me two options I can either create a cylinder or a dome let's create this I mean a uh, yeah, cylinder or a sphere let's create the sphere and there we see that we have a little uh, dome on the top of this walkway now do the same thing if I wanted to create an arch going through we can do a circle on the side send it through as a cylinder and make it a void shape and it'll cut out a nice arc for you to walk through and there you go if we want to make this part of it select it click join we want to be joining this with this and now it's all one type of building very good don't forget to save